guys, welcome again to my channel, Pierre Ordonia, and I'm here now to present you a new dish. I know it's been a while since the last time I've uploaded a video. I hope you will like this one. This is a favorite among Filipinos, a Japanese tonkatsu curry. Okay, these are the ingredients that we have in front of you right now, but I'll be posting the description on the description the ingredients and the measurements on this one. I hope you'll enjoy this. Let's go ahead and start to cook. Alright guys, so we're now going to start here. So first we have oil here in our saucepan. So we're going to saute our vegetable first in our onions. Julienne, okay. So let it sweat first. Just need to wait for a few minutes to finally over oh, sweat everything here. Okay, again, guys, sauteing is uh, meaning is to sweat the vegetable here. So like this right now, until this onion becomes translucent, we'll be adding our garlic. So for those guys who are asking which come first. Is it the onions or the garlic? Well, for the international principle of cooking, we always, always start with our onions because burnt garlic or too much aroma or flavor of garlic is not good for all dishes, okay? It's up to you anyway, but for me, I'll always start with my onions. So it's almost translucent there, so we'll be adding our garlic. I've used here um, about two cloves of garlic. Okay there. Excuse the noise, I know this is Manila, so you expect everything will be happening at the background. So here, let's go back to our sauteing. So you can smell now the aroma of the garlic. We have it to burn it. So we'll be adding our cube or dice on the um, carrots and some potatoes here. So there, we're just gonna heat up our stove. This is very, very simple dish to prepare. So you'll see here that it's easier to do this, this way. I know it's kinda noisy right now at the background, but there we be. We will be finishing this. Okay. Alright, so now it's already sauteed here, so we'll be adding about 1 liter to 2 liters of water. Water, I mean, sorry. So maybe more. Just later, it will be decreasing in volume. So just... And then we'll be adding our curry roux this is um, a roux made uh, a curry made out of roux so this is can be purchased in any asian deli store so this is the thing that we're going to use now it is a curry roux okay you can buy it in a box and use it anyway you also have an option to use your own okay but now we'll be adding Four, because I like it, you know, when it has a pungent flavor. You don't need to um, really, really um, mix everything. 
So we'll just let it sit there for a minute or two. Then once it's boiled, we'll be right back. Okay, there, as you can see, our roux of um, the curry has already been dissolved in the water that we've used here. So we're going to season this. I know you might find it odd, but in Japan, they are fond of seasoning their own curry. So we'll be adding about one and a half tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay. Also, um, one and one tablespoon of soy sauce. A light soy sauce will do. And Okay, now we're in the second part of our cooking for the katsu curry, tonkatsu curry, I mean. So now we'll be preparing the batter for our uh, dredging for the pork. So now we have here two eggs, two whole eggs. And we'll be adding about um, three to four tablespoons of water. And I have here about six, seven tablespoons of flour. So we need to whisk first the water and the egg and we'll add slowly our flour so we'll be um, making our pan okay so it's much easier this way to coat our pork Okay. We just need to incorporate everything. Okay, it's now smooth. So we've added everything here. So we're just going to prepare and assemble our tonkatsu, okay? But before we do that, we're just going to properly season our pork. We've used a pork loin chop here. We don't need to really overdo seasoning here because our curry will be very, very flavorful and seasoning. So we're just going to drizzle some salt. So we're just gonna clean up here and we'll set up our cook stove to fry this. Okay, just fry it. So here's our setup now. We have the pork, the batter, and we have the Japanese bread comes with the panko. So we're just going to dip this to our batter. Okay. We just need to pack this with a lot of breadcrumbs. Don't shake, we're just going to let it rest there, okay?
Okay guys, this is the plated tonkatsu curd that we have right now. As you can see, it has a crispy outside, very juicy and tender in the inside. Also our velvety curry sauce there. And it's being served also with our cabbage salad on the side there. Okay, I hope you guys do enjoy this and I hope you will give this a thumbs up and also share this video with your family and friends and do subscribe also. Okay, once again, this is Pia Ordonia. I'll see you for more videos. Okay, thank you and enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.